So I rushed to the shops hoping that they can accommodate the needs that I had to really populate and here it is. Here you go. You're very welcome. Oh, mate. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> These bars are the nicest bars you'll ever break down. <laughs> so you can throw your pad out now because you ain't got the substance of the chocolate that covers the way for round. Oh. Yes. And if that don't work for you, you can stack these bars on a Mars and legitimately tell people that you've got bars on bars. <laughs> and failing that, you can give it back and I'll break it off and keep chucking it across the crowd when they don't get loud over something dope that I said. Because some of my bars go over their head. Ooh. But I'm going for that Theo Walcott win. Throwing up 2-0 like a gang sign. Ooh. You're just desperately trying to avoid being banged twice. <laughs> Either that or you still want the stripper Tuggy promised to deliver. Well, here she is, from Pinky Five Fingers. <laughs> but when we watched Tuggy pull a list into bits, first round I was like, yeah, that was it. Well, I'll sit and see what this kid brings to spit. But it was just two more rounds of repetitive, effortless, messy shit. Let me mimic it. I'm a rapper that takes hotties back to my place. You're a faggot with AIDS that's about to get raped. <laughs> and that's enough of your cheap rhyme scheme. Now watch me swing and draw my multi-syllable sword. Because I'm spitting it raw like you've never seen it before. I'm not killing them all, but I will come rip on the paw. Because your writings are flawed and you're not fit for the paw. So I'll raise the blade and watch his head spill on the floor. And up came General first round. It's his birthday and I'm a charitable guy. Plus he looks like if I told him to go fuck himself, he might actually try. <laughs> so spit your high-pitched bullshit, Elicit, and do what you got to do before I come back and smash it and have the whole crowd sing in my rendition of Happy Birthday to you, you faggot! Time. Yeah. Hey. Let's try and remember these bars. Um, <clears throat> you alright? Yo, I'd just like to say your face looks like to be fried away, you like you stuck your head in a microwave. <clears throat> My first rap battle wasn't amazing, but okay. But now battling me is risking up like, skating on a frozen lake. And you always are nervous as hell. You need to rehearse your presence. I don't need to rap battle you, someone just give me some nerve repellent. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're more annoying than films of romance. And my high-pitched voice to people that like road rap. Because the tone of your voice really matters. Nah, you're just a bunch of silly actors, and now back to you. You look more deranged than someone who jumped out of a plane with no parachute. Ah, I chew. I sneeze in your rap career because I'm allergic to failure. <laughs> your lyrics are so bad, even your producer was turning the bass up. <laughs> and you look feeble as fuck and all tense, like someone squeezing her nuts with a small wrench. <laughs> you, you look like an alien, looking afraid and shook, G. You were blatantly raised by Wookiees and your mum made you shave her pussy. <laughs> Also, it looks like you came out your mum's anus. <laughs> and it was so embarrassing that you've both become strangers. <laughs> um, no, you can't rap or flow. Your tracks sound like a two-year-old grabbing a piano and stop hitting some random notes. <laughs> you always sound like you're about to choke. Like when you suck off antelope to a gram of coke. <laughs> When you were younger, your dick snapped off like an old baggage handle. <laughs> but that wasn't as nasty as when I stuck my dick between your mum's arse cheeks and I pierced through an Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like the kind of guy who would start up a porn site named Fags in Sandals. <laughs> and try to tempt people in saying, when you sign up, you get a free hat and bangles. <laughs> Time. <laughs> What, can everyone hear it? You have to do that, or do you want Getting them to be quiet is harder, should we have mics? Yeah! One, two. Yeah, stick, should we put it, we'll put it in the middle on the stand, that'll help, won't it? People can hide behind a mic, mate. <laughs> we have that, we want to see the fucking soul stretched out on the sand. <laughs> yeah, it do be in this it's a microphone, my son, you just have to stand yeah. near it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get fussy with it. Right. Somewhere, aim roughly into that. Oh, okay. We're not doing that. We're going to hold it. Hold it. Yeah, but then you can hide behind it. Are we happy with that? Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Yeah. One, two. Just so you know, I didn't bring no homo jokes about you and Timmy, man. I missed it, because it's been done before, and 
where two grown men stick their dicks is really not my business. <laughs> but let's be honest, Illicit, don't act like the odds you think about it ain't mathematically high. This guy's so lonely, if I told him to suck my cock here, he might actually try. And it was funny trying to study your last battle, because when you weren't rapping all high and Drizzy was dropping his bars, you look like you might actually cry. And the ironic thing was, I call him Drizzy because of the way his name goes, but you're the one who looked like you made those fake Drake quotes. Running up on girls in Waitrose like, babe, I see these fake hoes and I hate those. I just want a girl that I can take home to my great folks and they ain't interested in the size of my payroll. Is that you? No? Time to go home cry. <laughs> Is that you? No? Time to go home, lay low, cry, stuff my cake hard, maybe stick my dick in a drain hole till I came loads. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Cause if you had a rep, I'd wreck it. I tug fresh from my bars from my brain, like a prophecy. Arrange the punches and flows with a furious velocity. Leave you in a ward, on the reel, for try stopping me, and get full marks from all the judges, cause evil spits properly. Oh, and Johnny Jazz will call you a faggot for being a cop to me. <laughs> And I copped your EPCD download you put out. What a bunch of boring noise. Welcome to Imaginary Universe. Come for Tim's production and leave for Alyssa's annoying choice of annoying voice. <laughs> but as far as subject matter goes, on some of the tracks, I can't even debate. Mostly because I can't listen to them, but partly because I can relate. See, Illicit talks about social anxieties on some of his tracks, and the awareness that that could raise is great. And as a long-term sufferer, I feel I can empathise with your current mental state. Because Adam, I get it. It must be tough when you're squared off again. Oh. I get it. It must be tough for a guy with such low self-esteem to be squared off against a beast. Meanwhile, that guy's got hungry eyes salivating and about to feast. I know. It's alright. It must be scary when the walls close in and you fold into yourself out of habit. I get in real close and whisper, Happy birthday, you faggot. <laughs> Alright, yo. Evo, you look like a tramp. <laughs> Sorry. All you need to complete the look is a cider can and a pizza box. <laughs> to be honest, you're enormously incompetent. And your lyrics are weaker than an orphan's confident. <laughs> Evoking an emotion for me is harder than boxing an octopus. Yeah, I'm a cocky prick. Your mum doesn't love you. You were an adopted kid. <laughs> and you're the kind of guy here with Ryan Ryan with time. Right high and sky. And I think it's time to snap out of it. As a rapper, I'm ashamed we share the sound, same alphabet. You look tormented by doubt and stress. My punch times a pound your head until you make more noise in a crowded vest. It looks like you sleep on your... Ah, it looks like your bed's... Nah. It looks like... You, <laughs> I'll get you in a minute. It looks like your friend's couch is your bed. And you jack off the men in flowery vests. Also, my dying phone battery is more of a life than you do. Just for a buzz, this guy drinks the water from a used loot. Then looks for a fella to move to with a few tubes of used lube. <laughs> so Evo, you're only created because God has a sense of humour. But the joke's over, so it's going to send you tumours to end this nuisance. Because it looks like you can't... Oh. <laughs> it looks... To end this nuisance, so you can't rap off it. Oh, I fucking popped that, man. <laughs> to end this nuisance, because it looks like you're going cold turkey. It looks like you're seconds away from falling to the floor, yelling, don't hurt me! And just because you've been spitting for time, doesn't make you sick with the rhymes. You've been shit all your life. <laughs> and that applies to a lot of rappers who are just crap in different ways. My music will disable you, call me Hans Zimmer frame. <laughs> Yo. And it looks like you sleep in a cardboard box full of loads of needles. And you have to piss on it at night to mark your spot from the other homeless people. <laughs> Time. Right. Nature judging Evolve versus Illicit. I thought 
obviously, no offence to Evo, but obviously Elicit's rounds were a lot better structured. But I heard a couple things that I've heard on Don't Flop from Ooh. Lunacy, and it's like he's bit a couple things. Ooh. I don't like that, really? but he has his rounds were better. But I'm torn to be honest because if someone writes all their own stuff, it's a lot more. It's better. You need to write your own stuff. You can't come into a battle. I'm rambling here, but we know. See, saying. bruv. See, for that fact, I've got to vote Evo, man. I've got to, because he done his own thing. I'm not saying his rounds were better. Obviously, I had a big choke as well. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Peace. Right, it's all marks the fucking fuzzy mop. Just watched the battle between Illicit and Evo. Um, and I definitely thought Evo uh, ruined it for himself. He went all shy. So Illicit took it for me. Hearing that he may have jacked bars off a of don't flop, it's definitely enough for me to be like penalty suspension. But leave that to whatever happens next. If they were his own bars, Illicit, if they weren't, then Evo wins by default. Naughty. <laughs> uh, it's Melodis judging the uh, Evo and Illicit battle. Uh, for me, I think Illicit won. I just think he was funny, he had the crowd a bit more with him, um, so I thought he was better in that sense. Um, I thought Evo was actually quite good, even though he choked a little bit. You know, if you actually listen to the lyrics and not the like if it was a joke or not, it was they were quite good lyrics. But you know, for me, it was it was illicit. He was he was funny. <laughs> Peace. Yes, um, Juki. I think it was a good clash. I think some of Evo's bars went over people's heads, and people to understand. It depends what it depends what this clash is about. If it's about jokes and funniness, then explicit one. But um, if it's about what's his name? Illicit. Illicit. But if, but if it's about bars, then I think Evo could have nicked it. But it, but here it's more of a joke thing. So jokes, illicit one. So, but be prepared next time. Better both of you. That's it. Thank you. Tony Fresh, judging the uh, Evo and Illicit battle. Obviously, I think Illicit took it for me. Uh, Evo had some good bars and he had some good stuff. Like Juki said, a few things went over people's heads, but at the same time, I know he sounds a lot like Luna C, but I don't know whether, uh, obviously, RBN said that he had a couple of bars in that, but if that's true, then Evo won it for me. But until I know that for a fact, then Illicit. Alright boys and girls, sound of motion verbal combat, we've uh, been away and done the uh, adjudication of this first battle between Illicit and Evo. Um, I do believe it was um, only Juki who, oh no sorry, only uh, RBN who favoured Evo. Uh, his reasons were this, I might as well explain why. I've obviously uh, indicated that you've won the battle. Let's have a little hurrah about it. But, 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 there is controversy because the reason that um, RBN voted for Evo is that he feels as though Illicit has jacked a few bars from Luna C from Don't Flop. The truth in that I don't know because I'm not so much of a fan, but some investigations will go through as it stands. Illicit was the winner, pending investigation. Thank you very much. Sweet. Fatality. Don't you see that you are imagining all this? You call yourself names. You insist without proof that you are a murderer. You know that is so too. Whoever you are, it's a guilt complex that speaks for you. A guilt fantasy that was way back in your childhood. There's a voice in my head which speaks to me frequently. It brings grief to me. It seems to be easily defeat of me. But it is me, it's my reflection of my mind, a different side dimension. I try to mention through this rhymed expression, a confined aggression, which captures my attention when it touches my dementors. Given an entrance to my fears, right here, but it sparks my ideas. Whether flame like light is, but my nightmares are untamed. I've got to demolish this blaze like firefighters and accomplish my oddest of brains of my night terrors. It feels like I might perish, but I fight this menace with my rhyme letters into a bonnet and this sunset of light. My pen tip, I'm not stepping at the exit. I guess again, I'm not resembling Eminem is evident as ever in. If you've been on my veteran, injecting an adrenaline to the people. 
Do you hear that? There it was again, ears back. Stop the weird rap. It's silence, tell me why you fear that. When I move into a rapper and he wants to talk and chat, it's a matter of fact, I'm about to end all. Cause the cat will taste the rat until he falls into a trap, and now it's time, hating the rapping in general. And I'm a general, never general. Slash snares going supersonic, seven emeralds. Plus, I bend all rules, killing ten cool fools on the basis that they don't have the potential. So, cause it's hunting season. When I get through, now I can't be breathing. I'm at home with fried shit with the musket, about to bust it into the mouth with these dumb MCs and don't run to me. Is that shit I could do with that? Say so you're going in, that's a curfew, I'm going out. And the flow is loud, never gonna slow it down.